All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 2. Last episode, we got the convict, Jack. So this episode, we're gonna go and get some things done, get another, um, get another squad mate, get another teammate. All right, and we need to talk to everyone, too. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. <laughs> I love, I love Morden. He is so cool. I don't think Jacob wants to talk either. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Okay. So I know Jack will want to talk. I don't know if Miranda or Garrus will. Jack is down in engineering. C is down in a little hidey hole. As uh, Kelly likes to call it. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since, and they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. You'd be my first mate? I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. All right, but we do need to talk to Jack one more time. Hey, for her upgrade. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Okay, it's a prototype. Subject zero biotic boost. She gets Jack gets a twenty percent biotic damage boost. Hell yeah, we'll take it. There you go, Miss Jack. You are ready for action. All right. Then we'll check on Garrison, um, Miranda. I doubt Miranda will want to talk, but Garrus might. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. I doubt Miranda wants to talk. Why am I getting lag? Why am I getting lag? 
I don't understand it. Why am I getting lag? I shouldn't get lag running at 30 FPS. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Okay. Of course, Commander. All right. Cool. How much money we got? Um... We might go to the Citadel, actually. We might do a mission and then go to the Citadel. Well, actually, let's go to the Citadel first. Because I don't want to talk to Kelly too much. Because you'll go up to the cabin. And if you have fish there, she'll feed them for you. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. So Edie's telling us, oh, we got that data. Um, it'll take a long time for me to, um, decrypt the information, but, um, I got it for you. Here's our mother from the first game. What? You're alive? I thought I heard you died. Why couldn't you have told you're alive? And then here's one of Garrus's, um, crew members, uh, wife saying, oh, take care of Garrus. And then here's Admiral Hackett jacking off to us saying, oh, thank God, Shepard, you went and got those 20 dog tags. Actually, no, we're going to hang out here. We're going to get the smuggled cargo and then we're going to um, go to the Citadel. But I'm going to um, explore everything. So I'll be back when we go to the smuggle cargo. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and deal with the smuggle cargo now. Is it worth it? It's not worth scanning, so... Alright. So, what we do here is we have cargo that we need. The We're gonna deal with heavy mechs who are programmed to destroy the cargo. But whatever cargo we can save, um... That's how much money we'll get. Okay. What do I want to use? Oh, I don't know what to give. Air. There we go. Subject zero. Reducing recharge time or weapon damage. We're going to do recharge time. Because Miranda gives the weapon damage boost for squad. There we go. And pull. All right. So the secret to this one, use your heavy weapons. That's all of them. All right. 16 out of 20 is not bad.
Okay. So now I'm just going to explore the rest of the Horsehead Nebula and then we'll go to the Citadel. So I'll be back when I'm ready to go to the Citadel. All right, we're going to the Citadel. We are going to the Citadel. We're going to get Kasumi while we're there. And then we're going to buy a bunch of stuff. So here we go, into the Citadel. May as well see Captain Anderson while we're here, too. <laughs> May as well. May as well. We'll bring Miranda. Jacob. Okay, so what do I want with Jacob? There we go. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneak in Iran? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission. And were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. All right. Go into the Citadel we go. Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Your sergeant said you could help with that. 
Usually, you'd have to go through the Station Security Administration to reactivate your IDs, then to Customs and Immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. I will. Having access to the Council and the specters' resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Okay, so now that we're back on the Citadel, we're going to get some stuff. We're going to get the high-grade provisions for Rupert on the ship and buy those books. This is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn Citadel. Okay. And now... We're going to come down here, and we're going to do some shopping. After we deal with this problem. This is a thief, and I want her arrested. Well, I was just walking by. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. Bah! all we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Okay, so pretty much you're supposed to hit investigate and find out what happened, but I know what happened. He went shopping and he left his chit somewhere, so we have to find it. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? There's Rebecca and Michael from the first game. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel? Oh, you're Shepard. I, I didn't even think... I well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee a discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please, browse our catalog. I sure will. Thank you. <laughs> um, we'll take that. We'll take the life support wedding, which is a meta gel capacity. So, okay, and over here in um, Saronis Applications, this is where the credit shit is. Welcome to Saranus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. 
but I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Okay, and then we're going to talk to Mara. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit shit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, and so now that we got our discount... Now what's this? We'll buy our upgrades and our visor... Which reduces recharge time of powers. Nice. So now we go talk to the mean Volus and the mean CSEC officer. I felt. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Serona's applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for me. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute. And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. Alright. That's what I do. I help people. It's a delicacy back on Earth. Alright. So now we're gonna go upstairs to the top floor of the wards. And we're going to do some more shopping. That way then we can get more upgrades and we can fix the fix our character up some more. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Watch this. We should kill them all. <laughs> Here's something funny you can do. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. We're going to accuse her of classism. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? <laughs> Alright. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping experience. That was funny. We're going to get our fish, our hamster, and the two model ships. What do the model ships do? They, um... I wonder what a Presidium fish would taste like. I'm telling you, there are no fish up there. I hear an Erdnot went up there once. <laughs> an Erdnot on the Presidium. That'd be the day. So, what do the um, model ships do? They're just decorations for your uh, cabin. So's the fish. They just go in your fish tank. So, um, but I wanted to get them just so when I talk to Kelly, she eventually will want to go up to your cabin and she'll notice your fish tank and she'll feed your fish for you while you're gone. What can I do for you? I do a little hunting myself, you know. That right. What sort of prey can a squishy human take down? Geth, pirates, mercenary scum. 
What? Where? The Terminus. I'm heading out again soon, and I'm looking for sponsors. Huh. I respect anyone who hunts game like that. Sure. I'll give you a discount. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Bring me back a Geth head, would you? I'd like to turn one into a desk lamp. Damn right. See, he's got a bunch of stuff here. Um... We'll get the Umbra Visor. We want that. We'll take the offhand ammo pack. We'll take the um, Aegis Vest. We'll take the Sniper Rifle. And we'll take the Sentry Interface. I knew I wasn't going to get everything. Maybe a shotgun? I like the Assault Rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. Yeah, if you can hit anything. <laughs> Alright. There's a groundskeeper here in the Dark Star. Right here. Then I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lake? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom? Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the pool. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. The sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. Alright. So now we talk to that Krogan again, and we'll tell him, oh, there's no fish there. But I think there's one more person up here we want to talk to. Yes! It's Kalia... Kalia's, uh, Al Jelani, or it's Al Jelani from the first Mass Effect game. Been seen in Westerland News. in her hand. That'd be funnier. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You walked out in the middle of the interview. Made a lot of humans question what the Council might be hiding. Do you have a minute? You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, your news again. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of- I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. <laughs> Damn right. That's how you deal with the press. The first time we met. You son of a Damn, he really fucked her up too. Everyone in the alliance sees that. Check it. Did we get it? Nice. Damn right. <laughs> Wasn't there a talk to Jacob? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. Alright. We got all that done. So we're gonna go downstairs. Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. And we're gonna go talk to that, um, Turi, or not Turi, but the Krogan who wanted to know if there's fish in the Presidium. And then we're gonna go upstairs, talk to, um, Anderson. What do you want? Watch this, we're gonna lie to him. We're gonna lie to him and say I have one. Talking about the fish on the Presidium. What, you mean there actually are some? Sure, I just got one. I have it with me now. I'll pay you for it. What, you don't think I'm hungry? I went all the way up to the Presidium for this. Why should I give it to a random Krogan? 
I'll pay you a lot for it. Oh, all right. It's obvious you really want it. Here you go. Aren't you saving that money for a new gun? Who cares? They wouldn't let me use it here anyway. Thank you, human. Many Krogan must have dreamed of this day, but I get to be the first. It's just a damn fish. Guns are better than fish. <laughs> so now we're gonna go and we're gonna... We lost our fish though, which sucks, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I think if we re... If we go up to the Presidium and then come back, she'll have more fish for us. We'll have to see. Um, we got a thousand credits for that fish, though. <laughs> this meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As Counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reavers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Consular. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? 
Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Asshole. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Yeah, that's true. You really can't. <laughs> You'll see why when we... Um... When we get to the end of the game. So... But anyway, uh, I'm gonna do... Kasumi's mission. Because it's right here in Citadel space. But first, we're going to go to the tech lab. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. And then I do need to go back to the Citadel to see if um, they got the fish. They should have it, but... We'll get you. You. And you. And that's it. Okay. But I do need to change that helmet now that I got the one I've been looking for. Oh, I do have my fish. Cool. I didn't think I did, but I do. <laughs> Alright, so for armor, I want the Archon Visor. It reduces the recharge time of my powers by 5%. The capacitor chest plate, it, um, actually, no, I'm going to leave the M7 chest piece because it increases power damage by 3%. I don't have any shoulders. The gauntlets, um, will do the offhand ammo pack, which will give me an extra 10% in, um, ammo capacity. And we'll do the life support webbing so we can um, get, get health up by 10%. Whereas with the arms, I was only getting five. So there we go. We'll check our unread messages here. Here's um, a curator from a muse from an alliance museum. Thank you for finding the S. Then Vanico, we thought it was lost, but we found out it was overrun by blood pack mercenaries, and they were the first ones to ever see a Vorcha. Cerberus Command, thank you, is thanking us for the cargo that we found. Samesh Bhatia, he's freaking out that we're alive. Oh my god, thank you for helping us get our get my wife's body back from the Alliance. That's pretty much what he's saying. Um, Emily Wong, she's the um, reporter we helped um, with this data files and the um, and the um, Alliance, or not the Alliance operators, but the flight operators. At, at the Citadel in the last game, so she's like, oh my god, you're alive? Why aren't you talking? 
And then the consort is giving us another gift of words. Oh, you know, be careful out there, pretty much. Um, Dr. Michelle is freaking out. Oh my god, you and Garrus are alive. Why didn't you um, message me? And then a prisoner from Purgatory sent us a message. Thank you for getting me out. However, you shot at me, so now I gotta go and kill you. That's pretty much what he's saying. <laughs> So we are going to talk to Kelly, since we do have my fish. No messages for you, Commander. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Okay. So now we're ready to do Kasumi's mission. All we do is go to the next um, little star cluster here. We'll just check out the planets and then um, just to have this explored and then um, we'll do the mission. So I'm just going to go around, click on every planet and then um, go from there. There's a planet here in the asteroid belt. And then we do this planet. And then we do the planet we're supposed to go to to help Kasumi. We may as well get this done. We're already here, you know? So, new Master Thief for Miss Kasumi. We'll do Infiltrator because Saboteur does her weapon damage, whereas Infiltrator reduces the recharge time of her powers. Okay. We'll do Shadow Strike to open up Overload. Okay. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's Scrapebox. 
and I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. Okay. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem, yeah? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Solomon Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation? Okay. Oh, that so we're just gonna go around and um, case the security here that vault. So it's right down here. Look at this guy. He's he's dealing with twins. I he's dead or gone or something. Good riddance, I say. That's a man's dream, having twins. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier. DNA scanner. Looks like an EX-700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Okay, this is actually easy to do. It looks like the You examine this little line here. Floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. By scanning that little electrical line there, she'll turn on your Omni tool to scan for the power source. It's easy to get to. You go this way, you go around. We'll chat up Hawk real quick. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Jeff. Whenever you're ready. After you. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. There's always someone gunning for people like you and me. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'm glad you understand. Frankly, I'm surprised your security isn't tighter. It's a ballsy move opening your front door like this. Yes, I suppose it is. Hopefully it sends the message that I don't fear anyone stupid enough to step up to me. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. I only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? 
because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us, the cleaners, the support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scatter. Okay, over here, it's in the fireplace. It's this little statuette, actually. One sec. Alright. That's the barrier. Now, we come down these stairs. Okay, we jumped the railing. We want to put on warp ammo. And we want to go boom! Now you see me. Can't there we go. All right. Jump up here. Boom. And then we go over here to the bedroom. Find anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Okay. We'll go for wine glass. Great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. <laughs> found a sample? No. A credit shit. Damn right, we found a credit. <laughs> Search in the couch, you'll find a credit. Here's the alarm clock. Never do the alarm clock. It'll give away your position. Skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. It's clean. It's a plant. It's a plant. <laughs> the cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. Okay, the antique swords. That is one you need. Um, papers, I think, is one of them. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Data pad is the one. You can read this if you'd like. Um, it's pretty much telling you about the gray box, about how he's trying to crack it and he can't get it cracked. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. That should do it. Okay. Let's get out of here. We got everything we need. Let's get out of here. Someone got through on the balcony. How the hell did they do that? I don't know. Jumped down, shut the guards, broke the window. You didn't hear someone breaking a window? No gunshots? I can't hear anything with the music in there. You! Stop! And he fell down. <laughs> Why is that so much fun? Making him fall down there. <laughs> All right. Back to the party we go. Now we want to go to the um, security room over here. Some that door goes to a security room. I'll take care of the lock. There we go. Ready when you are. There we go. There. 
read the data pad. It gives you the password. You don't need to remember the password. Um, Kasumi takes care of it. But you just need to read the data pad with the password on it. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. Take a Metagel. We'll take the credits. 7,200 credits. We'll take those. Okay. And now we go back down to the vault and we um, open the vault. That got it. The barrier's down. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Password required. Perugia. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Okay. And now we're in the vault. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. Okay, now in the vault, there's a hidden item. There is a hidden item that we want. It's a weapon, actually. And I will show you exactly where it is. I have to run and look for it, though, but... But I will get the weapon. Because it's a decent weapon. So this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. It's the Casa Fabrications Locust. That's a Casa Locust. No, the Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrowed these. Exactly, Kimo. Exactly, Kasumi. Hell yeah, we're going to take them. And then here's the gray box. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die. No! Have I got your attention? <laughs> <laughs> that shut him up. Alright, we're gonna have some fun in this, uh, this one. Alright, we're gonna switch weapons here. To the Casa Locust. This thing is fun as hell to use. We gotta set warp ammo. Here they come. Boom. 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 Okay, I'm not in a good spot here. There we go. There's Chief Bro. She's dead. Over 
That's all of them. Oh, I thought that was all of them. There it is. Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. We will in second. Now. He just needed to check everything out. There we got it. His head's off. Mini nuke. That's how you deal with enemies, right? There. Oh, shit. Rid of that Vanguard. Damn right, that's how you do that. Damn it! We have to find another way. We will find another way, Kasumi. And you'll see in a minute how we're gonna do it. We're gonna jump up here. Thought it was Oh, okay, you gotta go with the steps. I thought you could jump up the thing, I guess not. Okay. We'll hack this PDA. There's that one, there's that one, and there's that one. All right. Get me 4,200 credits. There they are. They've seen us. Grabbing Boom. Hey. Boom. Boom. See, I'm trying to use my powers more. You scared me, you asshole. There we go. Boom. I thought I was far enough away. I guess not what. Boom! How you do that? That should be all of them. Take that salvage. Then right here we need to break that. We need to blow it up actually. But we don't have heavy enough weapons. But I do know how to get out of it. It's just... Um, I was looking for items here. There's some platinum we need. And then you come up here. There's a med kit. And then you uh, fire this mass accelerator, accelerator cannon. Boom! Blow well, that son of a bitch right open. That got it. Don't let them out of there with my proper thing. Someone's killed. Someone's gun. Bring the girl to me. Hey, I need, um, Kasumi up here in a second. There you go, Kasumi. There we go. And you went down again, Kasumi. God damn it. There you go. All right. 
There we go. Make sure there's no items over here. They like to hide items. I know that. Nothing. All right. Murderer. Item both. All right. We'll take care of you. There we go. Too slow, bitch. <laughs> We'll take you, dead mercs, protect damage. All right. Going dark. Heavy weapon, get down. Okay, I need a better spot here. Okay. There, she's dead now. All right, cool. There. Want you? Where's the spare parts? There they are. All right. Because they're worth money. They're worth money, man. All right, and I think yep, that's everything. That's everything. All right Don't worry about the ship for now. Worry more about the um, enemies. Okay. Lay down your I'm not in a good spot right here. There we go. Get rid of that heavy. Get rid of that. Then we gotta get some... There we go. Oh, he got me. Okay. This will bring him down. Look straight ahead. Here they come. Oh, that was painful.
Don't talk. You're doing this for love. Gunship's back and the full shield. If I can get to the ship, I can take down the shield. Even if you escape, I'll scour the galaxy for you. Okay. Pick up the card. All right, cool. They're all dead. Got a clear shot. Here we go. Damn right, and that's what we're going to do. They're coming from the front. Boom. That's how you take care of that bastard. Now do we have to take care of... No, we don't. Okay. The guards would have kept coming if... um. We wouldn't have taken him out. And that's how you take care of Kasumi Goto's mission. <laughs> I just blew through that mission without a problem, didn't I? <laughs> we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so, so sorry. KG. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I, I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. You heard him, Kasumi. He'd want you to destroy the information and save yourself. I know. I just... I can't. This is all that's left of him. If it's easier, I could do it for you. I... Okay. Just get it over with. Please.
All right. And so we leveled up from all that. We got our Locust and the best um, SMG in the game. And we got some up. We got an upgrade and some credits. So I'm going to um, head to the tech lab, do some upgrades, and I'm going to call it for this video. So, um, and the reason I do the tech lab is so I can get the save. So. We'll get the tech damage upgrade with tech cooldowns. Nice, we have faster cooldown. And that's it. So, hope y'all had fun in this episode. I did, and I will see y'all in the next episode.